welcome to Random and Desperate. We are in Playden Ingalls in Gran Canaria. And I'm going to share with you, through my tips and warnings, about this beautiful country. Now the first tip I could tell you is, most of, wherever you go around here, shops, restaurants, they used to prefer your card payments. They're not too, they don't really like cash to be honest with you, but if you ever pay with your card, always select euros. Do not select pounds for the extra charges on that. So if you pay, for example, when I went to McDonald's the other day, when I ordered a meal, it cost me 14 pounds. Now, if I would have paid in euros, it was, I would have saved a quid. So whenever you pay with your card, always, always pay in euros. Because they'll give you two options, your currency or euros. Now, when you do go to bars and restaurants and something like that, most all restaurants close at about 10 o'clock, so it's best to get in there about nine, about nine o'clock, if you're gonna leave it to the last moment. There's some beautiful, luxurious, great foods in Gran Canaria. But if you are gonna leave it last moment, nine o'clock is, is your latest because the light always shut it up at 10 o'clock and the only options you have is a kebab which they do sell the bars the prices of bars range about the same as british prices so if you expect a bit of a discount you okay yeah yeah, going home today. Home today. You know, we promoted this hotel. No, no, it's all right. Thank you. So the bars, the restaurants. There are some terrific bars, but shop around people. Because certain parts you could get two for the price of one. So I highly recommend you shop around. Yes, if you go to other tourist places, they will charge premium prices and avoid the hotel prices you're talking at least five euros a pint where you can go to places like they have shopping centers where they, where they see shopping centers what it means is like local it's like a local bar with a mixture of restaurant shops and things to buy so always check out the shopping centers if you go on the beach then you're going to be paying higher price and definitely avoid the hotel prices absolutely extortion it now, to give you a few warnings about the place. Now, Play Dead at Ingalls is very, let's just say, it's highly on the gay side, okay? A lot of people come here who are gay. And, and if you are looking, let's just say, for that kind of fun, this is the place to go. They've got the Umbo Centre, and it's, I must admit, absolutely manic. If you are, let's... It is in your face, okay? It is a, for me, it's too much, to be honest with you. Miles too much. I'd rather find a local bar, which there are plenty of them, but if you really want the nightlife, if you really want to feel played at Ingalls, especially the gay scene, you go to the Umbo Centre. If you don't like that, or you want somewhere quiet, stick to the beach bars. And please remember, Okay, you are in a foreign country. They have police here, obviously, and, and let's just say they are armed. Now you cannot smoke in public, you cannot drink in public, you will get fined for that. And if you go to certain areas of the beach, certain public dignity, if you know what I mean, so if you get your kicks down, you could be fined over 300 euros. So you've really, really got to watch that. But they will find you on the spot. And these police, that, they're not like our snowflake police in Britain. They are really, really strict. Now, end of the day, if you have a good time, they're not gonna bother you. But if you start behaving like a dick, they're gonna jump on you. No, no, and they will fine you and then kick you out. So please be aware. Also, remember pickpocketers. Like any, any country around the world now, especially the tourist area, there is loads of pickpocketers and they're not after cards because you could block them, cancel them, trace them. They're after cash and what? And they work in pairs. So please be aware, if someone comes up to you, says, can I have a cigarette? Where's this? Where's that? Grab your bag and hold it. 
because there's someone else what you're not saying these are experts remember who are looking for money or phones now if you if you do like the night scene i would just advise to take a card a pre a pre-loaded card but don't take your phone out because of pickpocketers end of the day that's what they're looking for phones and cash and go out in groups now they target now here the nightlife usually starts around 11 o'clock and goes all the way till five six in the morning now if you are interested in doing that do not go back on your own because you are a vulnerable a you've had quite a lot of golden nectars b you're on your own so you're easy picking and C, <laughs> let's just say you're not from this land, so they're going to target you, so really be careful. So if you are going out, make sure you go in a group and stay in your group. The other thing I'd like to warn you about is you're walking down certain places at night time and there is groups of young men or men coming up to you, asking you, do you want to buy substances or and we'll give it you for free don't fall for it they're going to take you somewhere private and there's people waiting for you if you get what i mean you're going to be robbed also there is a lot of prostitution what goes on in on round here especially at night time be very wary people they're looking for let's just say vulnerable men ladies and half the time they are not saying what they're what they're meant to be they are going to rob you okay so please please be aware of the situation just use your noggin because people know when you are on holiday when are you on you let your guard down so just just use your common sense that's all i have to say use your common sense but the most important thing is have a good time yes there's certain places like you go to bars and they're called lucky lucky people people who come my year to death for merchandise if you look at them they'll, they'll just go straight to you and sit down try and have a conversation if you just when they come up to you sell this rubbish whatever they sell it which are belts watches little kids toys just shake your head go like that and they leave you alone yeah, I know it. we do say, no thank you, no thank you. But they'll just mind you. If you act like it, you're not even interested. Or you don't care. Just shake your head and they'll leave you alone. I've seen, since I've been here, loads of Tories being scammed by these cheap watches. And they'll, and, but, they'll, but when you do make a purchase, they'll come back and back and back and back. And by the time they've finished, let's just say you have a bag full of useless crap so be aware now all said and done this is a beautiful beautiful country in Gran Canaria played at the Ingles the beaches are lovely it's warm it only rains twice a year so it is definitely worth to come but always remember wherever you go there is let's just say undesirables so keep your wits and but have a good time folks it's not all doom and gloom have a good time remember you're on holiday our, our natural let's just say a natural instinct is just to let's just say to calm down get drunk let, let the world go by <laughs> our wits go out the door our common sense sometimes goes out the door have a good time folks end of the day and look after each other that's one thing you must do look after each other if you are traveling all alone i would not recommend going out at night time men and women alike because you prime target if you if you are go alone just stick to the local beach bars there's plenty down there but if you go to the nightlife if you stop out to two three in the morning just get a taxi back it's not worth the 10 15 minute walk back beach bars all up on there usually open round about 10 for breakfast and they'll stay out until 2 remember restaurants close at 10 o'clock so get there nice and early well i hope you enjoyed this little tour around grand canary it's my last day today folks and i'm going home today 
but I just want to share some of the things, safety things, what I've got up to, and I hope it helps. But this doesn't, this does represent this country. It's all European. Look at that pussy cat there. They have lots of stray cats around here, by the way. And I wouldn't pass them because if you get, if you get scratched. Well, you don't know what kind of diseases, but look after yourself. Remember, I know we're British and we like having a good time, especially on holiday. I, I hit. Hello, you okay? I know, I know, I hope to do it. Thank you. <laughs> but I say, my shoelace is dangling, as, <laughs> as someone's just told me. But I know we're British, I know we really like places like this, we let our hair down. But end of the day, look after yourself. But I hope you enjoy this little adventure. I'm going to sit here and look at this beautiful country. And it is beautiful, folks. But all I can say to everyone who goes away, just keep you knocking. Look at this. Thanks for watching, people. And I'll see you next time.